Hi, so of course I've already started with my brows done, what's new to be honest with you, but I've also primed my lids using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumour number no. 2. Obviously I feel like I don't even need to say that anymore because you already know what I would have primed my lids with. So I'm basically just going to jump straight into my eyes. I haven't really thought through exactly what look I'm going to do. I know that I'm going to use neon colours, pigments. I just want to do something super bright because you know that the neon trend is such a hot topic right now. I'm literally wearing lime green neon trousers. I mean, I haven't really jumped on this trend much in makeup terms yet. So I feel like today I just want to dig in to some bright, bright colors and just get creative. So I'm going to film it for you guys. So the first palette that comes to mind when I think of neon colors is definitely the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette in collaboration with Stacey Marie MUA. There are a lot of neon palettes that I have, but these are by far the most brightest ones if that makes sense so this is the one i'm going to be using today i've also got this really gorgeous pigments from a company on instagram called lynn's look she really kindly sent me over some of her bright neon pigments so i don't really know how i'm going to incorporate them into my look today but i'm definitely going to try because i think that they'll really give me the neon vibe i'm going for so first of all i'm going to begin by taking the orange shade in the palette which is the shade lit on a Makeup Addiction Tapered Crease Brush. I'm just gonna start getting that through my crease. So we really want maximum pigmentation to make sure this is gonna look as bright as possible. And I'm just buffing that through the inner half of my crease. Next up, I'm taking the shade Funky, which is most definitely a neon, neon pink. They also have this shade in the palette, which is Wifey, which is more of a muted color, but Funky is definitely the most neon one in there. So that's the one I'm gonna go for. Then I'm picking up the shade Wasted, which is the deep neon purple in the palette. On a Makeup Addiction, a shader brush, and going next to that pink. I'm just giving this a really messy outer edge because I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with a makeup wipe afterwards. Anyone who follows me over on Instagram would probably have seen on my Instagram stories. I'm trying to do this thing on Instagram called Most Days March. Now, you probably have never heard of that and to be honest, nor had I because... I made it up. <laughs> but I've basically promised myself that I'm gonna start trying to post as much as I can throughout this month and kind of just hoping that it's eventually gonna, gonna come gonna become a like natural thing to post as much as I can because at the moment I don't really have a posting schedule I just post as and when I have something to post and as and when I really want to but I do feel like it's good to have a actual schedule behind it so I am going to try posting every other day through March or just basically as much as I can and then through April if it goes well I'm going to try doing every day April which again I made up I know I'm so creative which obviously is pretty self-explanatory but yeah I just feel like it's going to really benefit my posts and my engagement and everything like that so I'm going to really give it a good try so if you want to see what I'm posting on my Instagram then do head over there it's at LSG makeup I also really want to try uploading two times a week soon as opposed to just one upload a week here on YouTube but that's going to be a bit more of a struggle for me as I am still at work so I don't have all that much free time brilliant Brilliant news. Just dropped all my pigments on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the pigments, but I kind of don't know how to use them. If I'm being completely honest, I don't know whether you're supposed to go in with like a glitter base or something underneath, but I think that's how I'm gonna try it. And if it doesn't go right, then you know, what can you do? Right, so I've got the NYX glitter primer here. I'm just gonna take some to the back of my hand and then just basically pat it over the lid where the pigments are gonna go. Like I said, this may be the complete wrong way to do it, but I've never actually used a neon pigment before, so rather than researching it, I'm just gonna give it a try and see where it goes. Right, first up, we are taking the Lynn's Look pigment in the shade Mr. Orange Pants, very original for an orange shade, of course. And I'm just gonna dab that over the inner corner where I place that orange eyeshadow. I'm actually really scared to do this. <laughs> I'm 
Wowza. That's neon, all right. That is so cool. This is definitely something you have to do before you do your base makeup because I've got a lot of fallout. <laughs> There's Mr. Orange Pants. Next one up is Mr. Pink Pants. Of course, you probably guessed that already. I'm really impressed by these pigments actually. Normally when I use a pigment on my eye, like a eyeshadow pigment rather than like a glitter pigment, they're really, really drying and you can see all of the texture on my eyes. Obviously you kind of can with these as well because it's just the formula of a pigment, but these are really beautiful and they are so much more vibrant than I actually thought they were going to be on the eye. So I'm very impressed with these. Finally, for the outer corner, I obviously have Mr. Purple Pants. You probably guessed that one as well, but that's going on the outer corner. We love that shade. I honestly don't even know how bright they're showing up on camera because I have got the eyeshadows underneath, but they're definitely making a difference to the pigmentation of those eyeshadows. Now I'm taking a makeup wipe to clean up all of that fallout under my eye and clean up the edges of the eyeshadow as well. So what I'm gonna do is actually take this higher than I normally would. And what I'm gonna do is do a winged liner underneath, but going off at a different angle. I don't know how much that's gonna make sense until I actually do it. But it's definitely a technique I've seen on Instagram before. I can't pinpoint off the top of my head the person who I've seen do it. I've definitely seen someone do it before and I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna do things a little bit back to front today because obviously the pigments have a lot of fallout. I don't wanna do my under eyes after foundation and then have fall out all over my face so what I'm actually going to do is concealer so I'm going to take it just underneath my lower lash line but also further down a little bit so that when I can blend it out I can put the foundation over it later on and it not sort of affect the under eye shadow if that makes sense so this is the NYX can't stop won't stop concealer I have been using this non-stop recently I really really love the formula of it this is in the shade vanilla which is actually quite yellow toned considering it is supposed to be one of the lighter shades but it is really nice anyway to work under the eye. So underneath the eye, I'm gonna start by taking the shade Keen, which is the yellow shade in this palette and taking that on the inner corner of my under eye. Next up, I'm taking the shade Mint. And finally picking up the shade Sky. Then I'm taking the corresponding neon pigments. So I've got Mr. Yellow Pants, Mr. Green Pants, and Mr. Blue Pants. And they're just gonna go on top of where I've put those colors. So I'm fully aware I look really strange right now, but I'm now gonna go in with some liquid liner. So I'm taking the e.l.f. liquid liner, can't pick it up. And I'm gonna do a wing, but where I've cut this quite high, I'm actually gonna do the wing lower down. So it's kind of like an off match direction. I don't really know how to explain things. Can you tell I'm really rubbish at telling you what I'm doing? So I just let you guys to watch instead. <laughs> I'm also gonna go ahead and try a little bit of a graphic liner. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It might be absolute shit, but I'm just gonna try and see if I can do something because I feel like this top area is a little bit like bare. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try. <laughs> So I have no idea how much of that I just managed to film. My camera did shut off when I was doing the rest of the liner, but this is where I'm at so far. I think it looks a lot better having this bit in the middle just to kind of fill the gap out. I did also put some um, black waterline on my waterline and some mascara on and now I'm gonna start on with the face. I haven't put lashes on yet, I'm gonna wait until the end to do that. But yeah, onto the face. So I'm jumping into foundation straight away today because I've already laid down that concealer on my eyes so I don't really wanna do a primer and then it mess up the concealer. So I'm just gonna jump in with the ColourPop No Filter Stick um, foundation. This is in the shade Light. I don't know if this is gonna match. I'm gonna give it a try though. I really like the ColourPop foundation, the basically this one, but not in the stick version, in the liquid version. And I really like that foundation, so hopefully this one will work nicely for me as well. Just to make sure it's gonna blend nicely on my skin, I'm also taking a tiny bit of the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. I had to love myself before I could love you. Had my heart open for a girl I felt close to. 
be honest with you, I'm not a really massive fan of stick foundations. I bet a lot of people will agree with me on that as well. I feel like they feel very, very cakey in my skin, on my skin even. And I know that most foundations will do the same thing, but I really feel like a stick foundation is thicker, so it feels like it's clogging my pores a bit more. So I already used that concealer under my eyes earlier, so I'm just gonna avoid concealer for the time being and jump straight into powder. So today I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Sugar Cookie and just sort of set my base with that. So I'm contouring today using the Morphe, what's this called? 8L Lo-Fi Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm just dipping into basically all of the shades. I just swirl my brush between them. For blush, I'm taking the Morphe Blush Trio in the shade Pop of Coral. And I'm just gonna dig into these two shades here, which are Boss and Fierce. And I've just noticed I'm using all Morphe base products today. However, I am taking the Morphe 8S Highlight Palette. This is the Stella Impact one, so it's got all of the beautiful sort of bright shades and because I've obviously gone for neon on my eyes I'm kind of feeling like I want to go for the brighter highlighting colors so I'm gonna go for Aurora, Ultraviolet and then just to dull it down a little bit I'll go for Galactic. Okay, so I just popped some lashes on. Of course, I went for dramatic lashes for a dramatic eyeshadow look. I used the Bow Beauty in Victoria in collaboration with Victoria Jane eyelashes. These are so beautiful. I love wearing these ones. And now I'm going to start with lips. So I'm taking the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil in the shade Trophy Wife. And then I'm going to go on top with the Fox Glove Liquid Lipstick by Sigma Beauty, which is obviously really really bright and I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna like it but it's worth having a try. So here I am wearing all of the colours of the rainbow on my face and I absolutely love it. I'm so pleased. I love how this came out. I think that it's really original, if I do say so myself. Like I said in the video, I've never played around with neon, neon colours. Obviously I use bright colours but not actual neon pigments and I'm so impressed with these ones. This, by the way, is not a sponsored video, not an ad or anything like that. I was really kindly gifted these pigments by Lynn's Looks. Um, I will obviously include her Instagram and her website if she's got one below in the description if you wanna go ahead and get these pigments. I do believe I also have a discount code. Don't hold me to that, but if I do, I will put it on the screen and put it in the description as well. But I really love these pigments. There was a few that I didn't manage to use, but I'm sure I'll get use out of them at some point or another. So here is my finished neon look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm so sorry, I know it was a bit of a mess. There were some parts of the video that I didn't fully manage to film and I think it was kind of a bit of a random video but I really hope you guys got some inspo from it or enjoyed watching me create this look nonetheless. If you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me in the future. Enough rambling, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you very 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 much for watching as always and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I just